is up you guys it is me cutesy and in today's video i am doing a long-awaited inventory tour in roblox adopt me this is a lot different than my usual content but i've been getting a lot of requests to do this over my whole youtube journey and i'm like you know what let's just go ahead and do it so my inventory is probably going to change a lot within the next few weeks because as you guys can see the ocean eggs are coming out but you know what who cares we will definitely do a part two or an updated version if you guys like this one but without further ado let's get into it cutesy crew starting off with my gifts this is a pretty self-explanatory category in the inventory so i just have a small gift a big gift some ox boxes from the lunar event and i think the best gifts that i have are these monkey boxes which were from the circus event during may honestly i really like these and i kind of want to go on a spree and open them all but like at the same time i'm really scared and you never see them so i don't know cutesy crew do you guys think i should open these for a video someday all right that's it for the gifts like i said it's pretty self-explanatory next let's go on over to my toys category so all of my common toys are you know pretty simple pretty common oh i have this squid plush <gasps> it's so cute you guys i have some pretty basic stuff oh this pumpkin rattle is pretty rare though because i never see these so i think that this is pretty rare unfortunately i only have one so i don't know if i would trade that oh some heart rattles those are good christmas event stuff oh a christmas doge rattle <gasps> this brings back so many memories guys you know i didn't mention this at the beginning like i was planning to but you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and offer for any of the items in this video comment down below if you want to offer for anything tell me what your offer is tell me your username and yeah i'll see if i want to accept it all right let's keep going cutesy crew we are up to the uncommons um these star power wands i think are rare along with these rainbow wands which i have a lot of i know that these panda pals are rare these were from the looter event several years ago like before it was even a thing i have three of those definitely would be willing to trade some all right let's keep scrolling you know what cutesy crew these inflatable swords i feel like are really rare i never see these all right what else do i have some egg rattles creator rattles this is actually really fun a chinese lantern i really need to start using this stuff more because i have such a cool inventory and i feel like i never really pay that much attention to the toys unless they're new and it's a new update i also have a teddy skelly which i don't think i ever see as well as a tombstone which you do see quite often but they're very hard to get all right we're up to rares and i have this pumpkin from halloween several years ago and it's really rare i never ever see these oh my goodness i kind of forgot i had this i feel like this is a really cool item to have oh my goodness okay this is probably the favorite the favorite toy of mine that i own this is a hugging egg from several easters ago it's so cute this has actually been passed around between my sister and I, but ultimately, your girl has it because, you know, I just love this egg. It's just so cute, and it's it's so adorable. I love it so much. We'll talk about this a little bit more when I get to the strollers category, but I really want to try and get a matching Egbert stroller. All right, guys, let's just quickly scroll through the rest. Oh, these unicorn plushes are really cute. So, you know, those are cool. I have some Phoenix plushes which I don't see a lot either um some game pass items you know that's pretty pretty self-explanatory and then my two best toys are a flying broomstick and a candy cannon these are really high in demand and value and this broomstick is like you can fly on it at night and it's really cool it's also from Halloween 
The candy cannon is considered the rarest toy in the game, and it's really cool, you guys. It shoots out candy, and I honestly just kind of like having it. I never really shoot out candy, but I should. I definitely should. Yeah, those are my two rarest. Like I told you guys, I think my favorite toy is the hugging egg. Even though it's not the rarest thing in the world, I love it. Okay, you guys, we're getting to the juicy part. Let's go on over to vehicles. Actually, let's go ahead and head outside for this one. I have, you know, some classic stuff, some skateboards, some snowboards and scooters, which are all actually really rare. And then I have some more of those. I've got some event items, some bubbles, and more scooters and skateboards, which, guys, Look at this doge one. Like, literally, what is this? Okay, let's keep going. I got a little bit distracted by the doge. <laughs> I think that my best scooters and skateboards are these neon ones. So I have some white ones, a red one, pink one, green one, black one. I also have some other cool event items. This ghost vehicle is very, very rare. I also have some clown cars, a witch's caravan, and now we are up to the legendaries. Guys, I have some really cool legendaries that adopt me that I just, I love, especially the vehicles. These, these are really special to me. So my favorite vehicles are the bunny carriage, the cloud car, and I think also the unicorn cycle, which are all fairly rare. If you guys didn't know, Adopt Me rotates the vehicles in their gifts pretty often, and it's definitely really cool to see the values of all of these cars change. Of course, some other cars are some Game Pass items like the super cars and princess prince carriages, but I think mainly the really cool cars of mine that are just my favorite are definitely the ones from the gifts. Oh, and I also really love this princess carriage. It's so me with the pink, white, and gold. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. So yeah, cutesy crew, comment down below and let me know what your favorite vehicle is in Adopt Me. I'm kind of torn. Like, I love the cloud car because it has like this rainbow trail. I love the bunny carriage and the princess carriage because they're just iconic. Oh, the bathtub's also cool. I don't know, you guys. I think it's too hard to decide. So now we're gonna talk about food. Again, this is another really self-explanatory category, but I've got some lollipops from the candy cannon. I brew a lot of hyperspeed potions just because they're nice to give to people. And then also for challenges if I ever decided to do some. I've got some cotton candy, which is also from the circus event in May. Oh, I have one of these blueberry pies, which I think are considered rare now. Teleportation potion, some eggs, snowflake potions. Oh, I kind of want to use one, but I know that they're rare, so I don't, I don't want to waste it. Some more eggs a grow potion, gra anti-gravity potion, and cure all potions. So then of course we also have a ride a pet potion, a fly a pet potion, a broken egg. This was from Easter a really long time ago, back when pets were like just becoming a thing. So this is really rare, I think. I never, I don't think I've ever met anybody who has one of these. So yeah, pretty easy. That was the food category. I'm always trading away ride and fly potions. So if you guys ever want to offer for them, please feel free to let me know. All right, let's move on over to the stroller category. Pretty simple strollers to start off. I have this vampire stroller, which is really cool. I love it so much. I've also got some of the old gift strollers, including the quad stroller. I have two of these, and I think they're rare. And they're obviously really useful if you're trying to grind money and, you know, you're trying to get some money. Your friends are there. Your pets are there. It's really nice. I love these little strollers from a while ago. There's like a little pizza stroller, an ice cream stroller. Oh, and this heart stroller. I love it. Okay, now I have this hatching egg stroller, and all I can do when I think about it is think about the Egbert stroller. I really want the Egbert stroller in Adopt Me because I actually used to have one and I traded it away for something really awful that I regret to this day. Like it was really bad. I don't even remember what I traded it for. I know that the person told me it was worth a lot and it really wasn't and I really regret doing that. So yeah, I guess just do your research before 
before you trade, guys, because I miss it. If any of you guys have it, please let me know what you want, because I really would like to hopefully get my hands on one. Anyways, that was a little bit of a sad story there. Um, but, you know, we're back with the strollers. Oh, this cradle stroller is my favorite stroller besides the Egbert, because it's just so classic. It's so cute. It's so perfect. Okay, so we also have some unicorn strollers, triple strollers, this little rainbow stroller, this from the Lunar New Year, and more. Oh, these duck strollers are pretty iconic as well. I love little ducks. They have a hat that is this duck in Roblox, and I literally want to buy it, but it's like $50, so I don't know if that's worth it, but I might. To finish off, we have some cannon strollers, a catapult stroller, bunny strollers, which were from another Easter event, these balloon strollers, which I think are 1,500 AMC each, and baby basket strollers. Oh, this is actually really cute. I need to start using this more. Okay, cutesy crew, time for a very basic category. We have pet wear. So I don't really have a lot of pet wear. I just have some stuff that I've kind of collected over time. You know, some bone wings, bat wings, earphones, other wings. Like, it's all really simple. I definitely want to start purchasing some more pet wear because, like, it's just really cool. It's honestly really, really cool. So I'm going to teleport to the hat shop and, like, see what is going on. Oh, they got some cute stuff in here. But, you know, I'm saving for the ocean egg, so... I'm going to um, politely pass for now. Okay, maybe I'll come back to the pet wear. Okay, cutesy crew. We are about to get into the long-awaited category. Pets, cutesy crew. Before we do that, smash that like button in the face and let YouTube know that you're enjoying this video. Let me know that you're interested in this kind of content so I can make even more. I usually don't make videos like this, but like I said, it's been requested a lot, and I just want to show you guys my inventory. Now, I want to put a huge disclaimer on this video. This video is for fun. It's for trading purposes. It's just to show you guys what I have because a lot of you want to know. This is not in any way intended for me to brag or be like, oh, look at my really cool inventory. It's better than yours. Honestly, I'm really, really bad at trading. And I know that a lot of you guys out there are so much better than me when it comes to trading, which is why when I stream new updates, I always ask for your opinions because you guys are just better at trading than me. And that's just a fact. So yeah, I just wanted to say that this is not to flex or brag or anything. I, I just don't agree with that kind of stuff. Let's keep going, cutesy crew, in three, two, one. Ah! So already, I just opened my inventory, but I can see this mega neon Robin. Guys, look at how cute he is. This was my first ever mega neon, and it is so cute. I love it so much. Obviously, the Robins aren't super crazy. Like, people honestly really hated them for a minute there because everyone got them from Christmas eggs, but I love Robins. I have some Mega Dogs. Oh my goodness, I, I don't know why I need several, but you know, I just love Megas and Neons, so I collect them. Some Neon stuff like a Neon Chicken and Cat. Guys, I have this chick from an Easter event last year that you only were able to get during that event. So it's really hard to find and they're non-tradable. So it's pretty crazy. I would like to make a mega neon cat as well. That'd be cool. And buffalo. Ooh, and bandicoot. What eggs were those from? I think those were from the Aussie eggs. So that actually might be worth something. Now we're up to the uncommons. This was also one of my first neons that I made because you guys know it, it takes a while to make. So I made this neon wolf. Definitely would like to make a Mega Neon at some point. Ooh, I have some board that I'm trying to make Neon. Probably not right now, but maybe later on. Some snowmen. I have this adorable little Neon cat that is a snow cat. Oh, it matches my little cutesy studio. I love it. Oh, this is also really cool. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm trying to make a Neon pink cat. I have a neon little hair cat, which is really cute. And oh my gosh, guys, it matches my outfit. So we're just scrolling through. I just have some pretty basic stuff. 
I have a full-grown, flyable, rideable blue dog, which, guys, these were the very first pets in Roblox Adopt Me, so they're definitely really rare. These bats were from this Halloween, and they're stinking adorable. Okay, we're up to rares now, guys. The pets that I would definitely be willing to trade would be these shrews. I know that they're worth a decent amount because they were originally elf shrews, and then they changed them to regular shrews, and they're pretty hard to find, so I definitely would like to trade some, maybe see what I could get. Okay, so now I have some neons. I have a neon rabbit, very cute. I've got enough to make a neon polar bear and pig. Ooh, actually, I might need to do that. I have a neon ox. Let me just tell you guys, I would, I would have thought, you know, making a rare neon wouldn't be too hard. I think I spent a whole week of just playing and playing and playing to get it, but you know, it's okay. So I also have some musk ox, very, very cool, and a neon monkey, which I don't think I'm going to keep for myself. I want to give it away to some of my friends because they're going to try to make a mega monkey. I have some links from Christmas. <gasps> this neon hyena is so cute. The hyenas were from the safari eggs. I can also make a neon elephant, which I definitely want to do soon. Some cows, which are pretty high in demand. Oh, this neon bunny rabbit. These are so much cuter. The bunnies are a lot cuter than the rabbits, in my opinion, but they're both really cute. Bears. I have this little guy, which actually, he's not little. Why is he so big? <laughs> uh, all right, you guys, now we're on to ultra rares. I have these little zombie buffaloes, some yeti, some turkeys, some toucans, and starfish, and sloths. Those are all, you know, Fairly common to see, I think. Very cool, but fairly common to see. I'm also trying to make a mega neon Shiba Inu because these guys have always had a special place in my heart. They're just so cute. Sabertooth and red pandas. These platypus were from the jungle eggs, so these are actually really rare. I have a neon penguin, another neon penguin, and I'm trying to make a mega. We'll see. Pandas and some lunar ox. Jeez, I have a lot of ultra rares. I didn't even notice how many ultra rares there were. This is probably my favorite ultra rare though, you guys. It's a neon lion from the safari eggs and I just love the white accent. So then I also have some other things. Oh, this neon koala matches my outfit perfectly. Oh my goodness. I also have a neon horse, which by the way, they deserve much more, much more appreciation because they're so pretty. I'm trying to make a mega ginger cat, maybe a neon ghost bunny. Aw, this little froggy's cute. I have a flamingo as well, which is pretty rare. The rest is very cool. Try to make a mega bee as well. So let's get into legendaries. But before we do that, press that red subscribe button to join the cutesy crew if you haven't yet. All right, let's go! So I have this neon turtle, which is named Leafy. I love his name. I also have enough full growns to make another neon, but I'm kind of scared. I'm waiting until I trade this one away. I also have a neon T-Rex, which I named Lava Rex, because look at how cool his accent marks are. I'm trying to make a neon snow owl. I have some Skelly Rexes. Now, guys, let's talk about my Shadow Dragon! These are considered the rarest pets in the game. They were a thousand Robux at the time that you could purchase them. And they've been off sale for like two years now. So they're very, very rare and super high in value as well as demand. Oh my goodness. I have a Robo Dog from the Cyber Sale this year and then some parrots. I actually had enough to make a neon and I traded away my fourth one for something really bad and I really regret that. So I'm definitely looking for parrots. I have one owl and these guys are super cool. Honestly, I feel like they're just getting rarer and rarer. Oh, I didn't even realize I had this. This is apparently legendary. I've got some metal oxen. I'm on my way to making my first mega neon king bee, which is going to be awesome. And it's going to be my first mega neon legendary. I've got some kangaroos, a guardian lion, a griffin, and I'm also, this is my most current project. I've been trying to make a neon golden unicorn because these are just so pretty. So I have two full grown right now. Speaking of golden things, I also have golden rats, golden ladybug, a golden penguin, griffin, and golden dragons. Okay, you guys, this neon giraffe is my all-time favorite pet. It is so adorable. Guys, if you didn't know, the Sopo Squad gifted this to 
to me when we did a challenge back in February and I decided to name him Sparkles because a lot of you guys had name suggestions and I'm like, you know what? Sparkles is just such a cool name. I'm gonna go with that. So this is my all-time favorite, again, with the classic white coloring. I feel like I should spend some more time in Adopt Me because I could make a lot of neons that I didn't really notice. I could also make a neon Frost Fury. I have a neon frost dragon guys these are super rare as well and i'm trading away my regular fly ride frost dragon if anyone wants to offer so then i have a neon evil unicorn these are so hard to find definitely one of my favorite pets i love it i'm trading away a regular of this as well I have a neon dragon, which by the way, if you guys don't own one of these, I definitely recommend hatching some royal eggs and trying to get one. These are perfect all year round. Red and white for Christmas. They have the cool and warm tones for summer. It's just so perfect. I also can make a neon dodo. Oh my goodness, I really need to start doing this more. I have some diamond pets, a diamond griffin and a diamond dragon. Some Christmas eggs, a Cerberus, and a Bat Dragon, which is also considered one of my rarest pets. I think this is top three, like Shadow Dragon, Neon Giraffe, and Bat Dragon, I think are my rarest. Cutesy crew, comment down below and let me know which of your pets are the rarest and which of mine you think are. So then I have some Aussie eggs, and to finish this off, I have a classic Arctic Reindeer. So that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was really fun. Honestly, if this taught me anything, it's that I need to spend more time with each of my pets because usually I only pay attention to the pets that I'm trying to level up. But, you know, I really love all the pets that I do have and I want to spend some more time with them because they're so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button in the face if you want to see me do an updated version later on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Cutesy Crew for life!